Okay, Drake Dragon here, I guess. Video update for the blog the 21st or the 20th of July. Haven't done this in a while. I need to do it more often and try to do it every Monday or Tuesday night when I can. A couple of updates. Um, well, three weeks, more than three weeks have passed, so things for my uh, hernia level has been returning to normal. Still got a little bit of bruise here and there, but doxas should go away by week six which is good because in mid-August, late August, I'm planning to make a trip to Burning Man with another friend of mine, and he says, you got to camp out one time at least the first time you go. And I'm like, uh, all right, all right, we'll, we'll do it. I'll pack light. So we already went some shopping for things that if it breaks, it breaks. It's like less than $10. One is a little camping light thing. So I'm thinking doing less rechargeable. Yeah, I'm going to be hated because that means there's more trash to take back. But the reason why I want less rechargeable is because the fact rechargeable items actually fail at high temperature at a higher rate. So I'm actually retrofitting a lot of my stuff with alkaline batteries and I'll have a tub full of different battery types so I can switch out during the week and just reload, reload, and reload and take a printer mark and write X on the depleted cells because they'll be dumped as soon as I get back pretty fast, pretty much. I'm also considering a staying at a motel on the way back on Sunday night before I come back on Monday morning. I've been told you can, the car itself, if you just only take the stuff out one time and put it back in at the end, it should stay pretty clean. So I'll empty my car and use it for cargo space, but I don't think I'm going to go like crazy like some of these other guys do it. Um, I am tempting to get portable power, and since there is no cell towers in the area that I know of, so I don't think it'd be advisable to have anything that can provide me network connection unless there's someone has provided a local hotspot. So I will bring a micro router. I always do because it can run them off of battery packs a lot of times for a few hours. Um, there will be power at the camp because we will have margarita machines and they do draw their, at least a two kilowatt load. So we need something that can cope with that. So we've rerouted some of the wiring. I will bring extra wiring myself, cabling, but not much. I should be able to run backup if I need to. As far as things, um, I've been given a list, so a shopping list will be needed. I'm going to convert it to an Excel file and get some tubs and start loading up around the end of this month of the stuff. Maybe three or four tubs. Three tubs sound like enough to actually store the stuff I need. As far as clothing and things like that, I might just bag it and tag it in a, a El Cheapo book bag and uh, and try to stay high stay dry might be get, get myself a camel pack or something that might be advisable because i could probably clean the camel pack and use it for fursuiting later on because that is a, a very useful tool when you're in a full suit not saying that i would love to bring a, a full suit to burning man but i don't think i'm going to get anything destroyed because it seems like you have harsh weather and even though i can build stuff for harsh weather i've kind of coming to the point in my life that everything is disposable so why bother putting a lot of effort in things? So I've been dropping a lot out. I mean, maybe after I get my own place or property where I can actually have stuff stored and then inventoried, yes. But right now, because inventorying stuff costs me money, so it's not my best interest to make stuff last that I don't have space to store, see? So that puts me in the perspective that I probably will have to go light, but I figured after talking a little bit with my buddy uh, uh, Wayne Travolta, which has met Drake the Dragon, I mean, I would love to get some sort of thing that indicates, I mean, I will have my own business cards, I'll probably dig some up and maybe some people might want them, but um, they're going to have a disco party theme party and I can't really be anything else, so I went and bought an El Cheapo Kigu for $10, so I figured if I want to sleep in something here it gets to 50 at night so i'm gonna have to go through my camping list sometime and maybe upgrade a few things might buy one of those cheap little ten dollar blow up thingies that to put under my thing will probably get popped at the end <laughs> but something cheap because i know a lot of stuff may get destroyed but see, since uh, he showed me the tent we set it up and we put it all away so i'm going to put that in my checklist because i may have to uh, meet with him the night before we make the long drive and it'll be a long 12 hour drive shift to get there. So either we'll get everything in one vehicle and then I'll just carpool with him. Or if I drive my own car, which will probably be dusty at the end of the trip. But at the same time, I have the luxury of 
packing my own gear and some backup gear in the car so I can leave those there modular modular it means I can take out what I need and bring it into the tent uh, and I'll have to get food I've been told granola bars and Gatorade and lots of water are probably the best bet so I'm gonna go with that route because I'm sure there'll be booze who doesn't bring booze and bring your own beer so which gives me an opportunity to look for ice chests and power converters so I may actually have some tools to do that and plug stuff in but I'll take a look at how that is because I don't have room to store ice chests so that may get donated at the end or what I should look is to the cheap foam ice chest and buy a set of those and then use those to store that because I've been told there will be ice pickups and drop off but since Wayne Travolta will not have the luxury of his golf cart going around um, I'm assuming there'll be someone else that we can bum a ride back and forth and actually make that happen um, things are coming down to the wire with the other team on their vehicle so I might volunteer some time at the end of the month if they need some crucial rewiring or anything like that I can deal with wiring real fast I mean don't be surprised how fast I can figure out your rat's nest of wires I don't like to but I can figure it out <laughs> so it's a it's a very useful skill set when uh, you might have some technical things but Regardless of how that is ran, I will give them a hand. So that's why I'm probably going to go out there with setup date, which means I have to go out Friday night instead the week before. Now the question is, will I stay to the burn? Do I want to stay to the burn? Eh, a little bit. I don't really care about that much because it's not really my thing anymore. But do I want to stay past Friday night? Sure, I'll probably stay and we'll have a alcohol purge and. I'm thinking that would be a great time to throw maybe uh, find some old computer gear and just turn that into a karaoke machine. I mean, I've got some leftover computers here at the office. I'll just blow out on a weekend and download Care Fun Fun onto it. And they said they got Wi-Fi there, so they'll have Wi-Fi. I hope. Otherwise, that will be a, a botched idea. I did find online for less than four hundred dollars, you can download buy a, a two terabyte hard drive full of music and karaoke software so I don't exactly know how that's gonna work maybe it's pirated but it don't matter to me that's actually a pretty good deal for me because if that has a collection of like 12,000 songs I'm gonna ask them if they have one that's tailored to like 70s and 80s music because that sounds like the era that I would probably karaoke to but you know we've incre increased our library so I might poke around with that next weekend that idea might come in on the second my next payday but like I said I'm trying to keep everything within budget and my friend Wayne's the same way because his income source is selling cars to be quite frank yeah um, I'm not terribly worried about getting my car dirty because it's I've noticed it's got problems in the exhaust system and it's gonna cost me a fortune to fix well it's not a fortune but it's gonna cost to fix so what I'm figuring is that I can use this car my car because it will drive out there um, I'll probably bring a burner phone so this phone will be forwarded to another number for the week I'll be out and I will be running on a backup system so that means if I do forget my primary password or get locked out more than likely I will have no network access for at least a week until I can get onto a desktop and with some sort of network connection then I can nail my way back into the network going to the uh, system and, and get in that way but however it is I have enough computer parts that are nearly at disposal speed so I will find some computers to bring with me and even though Burning Man isn't a tech savvy place a lot of people have different skill sets and mine just happens to be electricals and communication so with without me having to yell but <laughs> at people so we'll have a lot of fun with that and uh, I'm just debating on how I'm gonna do this they're giving me this list and you know you gotta bring this otherwise you're not gonna have a good time you know it's like saying if you don't if you if you uh, if you french fried when you pizza you're not gonna have a good time <laughs> so with that being said I guess that would pretty much make it my adventures to prepare for next month we're about a month out to ready to go so that means uh, it comes down to the wire so I'm gonna go through the list sometime this weekend tonight or tomorrow um, I am gonna try to make an offer for some easy ups for hopefully use $60 range $50 that's a good deal whether I want to spend money on it probably not Do I have space to store it I don't have space to store it that's my biggest point if I did then I just buy them right now because they're still useful for pop-up events and things like that and there's always it's always useful for a shade 
So while I get it, I'm going to probably make a phone call tonight or tomorrow morning and go out to somewhere in Alhambra and just pick it up and just grab one for if it's 60 bucks, just get it done and that will solve that problem. Then buy some accessories to handle the sleeping situation. Uh, he was told to me that even when you have the tent, you got to seal it up because the playa dust gets in everything. So that means uh, I figure the cheapest thing I could do is, is get, bring a lot of contractor bags. Obviously, one will be for trash somewhere. And then what I'll do is I'll probably bring some of those clamp clips because they're cheap enough. I, they were actually so I may have some of those I can use in a bag somewhere that I can clamp things down but what I was thinking is I have a cot so I can fold the cot out which provides some storage space underneath it not much I can store battery and power management gear and then um, that will take care of that I do have cases I could store the stuff in and what's even interesting is that if when August comes around I do plan to go to the garage and I think I have one or two more crappy computers that I have there that are too old to do anything with. Those might be recyclables. But what I'm able to use the more modern computers that work is throwing out in that state. Um, some of those containers are airtight, watertight, dust tight. So they may be the opportunity to put together a karaoke in a box system that I can pull out and just simply put over there for whatever and then play some music on. What I mean by a cheap-ass karaoke system, I mean I'm not going to even have a mixer on the board because everyone has to have their fancy mixers. I'm just going to take a wireless mic and jack it to a PC. And that should be enough to send audio out and just throw some Y cables in there and call it a day because then I can hook it up to any uh, system and just say, fuck it, it'll, it'll work. Just make a request and I'll just go in there and, and cue the song up. It's easy. <laughs> So cheap and ass dirty system is kind of my goal. So I'm sure I can pull something off uh, really dirt cheap. And that is actually not exactly dust proof, but I will say it will survive. And it's such an old hardware that if it breaks, it's like, I don't really care much because I don't know where it's going to go after this anyway. So I might as well just have fun with it at a week uh, weekend at, at, uh, at that. So that will probably be my little thing. This blog, by the way, will be uploaded to both Rumble and YouTube because I'm going to start to learn to push stuff to Rumble. The reason being is I need to start putting stuff on Rumble too as well. Um, but that's pretty much my 50 cents on there. I will go through the list sometime this week to start building a non-perishable and see what their pe perishability of stuff I could store. Like for example, granola bars and some of those energy bars it's going to cost a budget, but the beauty of them, I've had one or two, and if I had them for lunch, they actually last a whole day. So who knows? I might find some food out there, but at least it'll be more survival food. So that will at least keep some of that. Um, Wayne says I'll, he, he'll, he's going to equip to my little mini campsite with a stove. So I might be have to find a small little pan, and maybe I'll make some boil some hot water and make some cup noodles but starchy stuff it's got so much MSG in it it's just going to make you thirsty which leads me to point two is Gatorade Gatorade and Gatorade but then point two and a half is that if I get Gatorade then there's a lot of cost in the bottles I've been running into that right now and I'm probably going to have to move away from the zero sugar I got some because they were on sale but that was just me so but like I said, I got a few things ahead of me. I'm going to get some parts ordered for the solar equipment. It looks like it'll be about $150 budget for what I want to do. It's not terribly a lot. It's for 400 watt hour a day. Ain't bad. That'll recover a battery. Um, since we're going to be there for a lot of times, that probably is going to be the best bet to recover power on my rig. So I'm just going to take a 24 volt cell and then connect that up to a solar panel. I'm going to look at some of these solar panels. I saw the connectors on them, but what I don't know is I only know their nominal voltage. I don't know if they're diode protected. I'm actually going to test that. All you have to do is run a small amount of current in the reverse direction of it. And you can actually see they run as a PV diode. You can check that with a bunch of small volt meter or something like that usually. But what you do is you, you put a meter in series of it and you it says 25 volts on it. So you put a 25 volt bias with a maybe a point a one milliamp won't damage the solar panel because you're not running a large amount of current first off that's power dissipation law so you can run like 10 50 milliamp on a power supply at let's say the, it says nominal voltage 25 volts is a 24 volt solar panel it gives you about one two volts of freedom 
So what you do is you run a 25 volt power supply limited to about 100 uh, milliampers or so, and then you just stick a meter in series of it, and you just see which way the current is flowing. The reason why that's important because if you know which way the current is flowing, and generally the meter you can put on DC mode so you can see which way. It's, you can put on AC if you want to, but it's going to maybe convert to RMS. But the idea is you want to make sure there's no leakage going back to the panel. Otherwise, you have to know to unplug the panel at night because most people don't realize this, but a solar panel is actually an LED working in reverse. It just so happens to have a lot of surface area to try to gain a lot of current, which is not much. That's why solar panels are not very efficient. They're only about 20% efficient, but they do do the job of what they say advertise to do. They will produce electricity in the sun. It's just when you do the math, you have to figure out how much watt you can farm from the sun, which requires a specific surface area. And, it, and if you do the math of it, the cost to benefit analysis isn't really that much payoff. That's why solar panels are not liked except unless you can afford it. So that's why I'm only going to get a small little system that's a flexible. I used to have a flexible panel, but it went in the way of the dinosaur. I think I left it at one of my teacher's place years ago, and it disappeared. So I'm going to have to get another one, but the good news is they're not super expensive. I've been figuring between $100 and $200 budget, you can get about a 100 200 watt panel. I'm going to try to go for the 200 watt one because that one will produce more, but I have to find out if it's a single panel or double or they put them in series. But you can put two 12 volt panels in series and get 24 volts. But the idea is that you build a circuit and you look at its maximum current and then you probably just get some wires. I mean, I used to get thick wires, but at 24 volts at about 5 amps, I probably don't need much. Even old cheap speaker wires are probably more than enough to provide power coming back to my side and just put some... Uh, I might be able to get a bunch of those RV connectors and mark them. I used to have a solar ch charger, but I'm not going to need that. But I figured out I'll either bring some screwdrivers and just hook up the battery to it. Because from what I understand, a lot of the BMOs power cells that I've been buying all have, how do you say it? Um, they may have constant voltage regulators. So it may be advisable for me to get a solar charger installed in there. They're not terribly expensive. They're within 50 bucks now. And that would actually give me some power output to run lights and whatever, and then give me a warning if I'm exceeding the maximum. But I might just wing it and just say, just plug the solar panel right into the battery, and as long as it's actually a few volts higher than nominal, it'll keep the battery charged, I think. But see, the problem is now you've got heat issues and all the other stuff, so it may not be advisable for that too. So I'm going to make a, a grand decision on that if I'm going to use all solar design during the day and then run off the mini batteries at night and just keep it simple. But that's what I was thinking of, of a trade-off. I did find some inverters for a good price, some cheap Chinese inverters are like under 150 bucks. So that might be advisable to Jerry rig because since everything might get destroyed when we're out there, so I'm going to bring stuff that if it doesn't get destroyed, great. I might be able to use it next year or give it to other people. If it does get destroyed, then it's like, you know, that was the point of cheap Chinese hardware. So that's why I'm thinking rechargeable battery might not be a good thing. I actually do have double D cell holders, and I believe I have a few of them that are producing or are set up to produce 12 volts of power. So I might just go with that route and just run all my gear on 12 volt D cell batteries and just have a bank of batteries and then just switch from battery bank A, B, and C when the batteries go dead. Um, that's just me uh, trying to be awkwardly not have to deal with that stuff because rechargeables do not like high temperatures just to let you know and solar panels also operate inefficiently at high temperatures so if you buy a 100 watt solar panel you're going to lose about 30 percent of your output power in a high temperature situation but that's why i said i'll just buy one of them and maybe i'll buy some pv panels i gotta get the specs that'll fit my car because at least two PV panels will probably provide the source I need. But again, 200 watts is not a lot of power, but that's enough to charge battery banks. So that's assuming that heat isn't going to be the biggest problem because I've had stuff on it. But anyhow, enough rambling about stuff because I do a lot of these calculations in my head and I can figure out what the distribution and all that's going to be needed. Um, but anyhow, that's my little spiel vlog for this week. Good night.